take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The study concluded that the body slows its metabolism during weight loss to maintain the set point body weight. That's why caloric deficits aren't so simple. As the weight comes off, the body adjusts by slowing metabolism, making it easier to regain weight upon returning to your old eating habits. Take our lead. How do you calculate a calorie deficit? Your calorie deficit is the energy your body requires to maintain your current weight, minus your dietary calorie intake. So for example, if your body requires 2000 calories a day and you only feed it 1200 calories a day, you are in a 800 calorie deficit. Take our lead. Diseases associated with weight gain, obesity and inability to lose weight include hypothyroidism, polycystic ovary syndrome and Cushing syndrome. Untreated hypothyroidism slows the metabolism, which makes it tough to lose weight. Point one zero April 2018. Take our lead. Another way to calculate your calorie deficit is to figure out your TDEE, total energy expenditure, which is the number of calories your body burns each day, and subtract 500 calories. Make sure you're always eating more than 1,200 calories each day, even more if you're working out regularly. 27 September 2018. Let's help you make your mark. The bottom line a calorie deficit occurs when you consume fewer calories than your body expends. A calorie deficit of 500 calories per day is effective for healthy and sustainable weight loss. 12 December 2019. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.